So here we are, another week, and the world is still on fire. <laughs> but we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about nerdy shit. Welcome to Multiple Nerdgasm with your hosts, Matt, Luke, and Dan. Multiple Nerdgasm, your guide to all things nerdy. Keep it light, keep it happy. Oh, although there is some... Weird shit in here. So I think it is going to get a little, little dark. Look, I think we should keep the really weird stuff for the after party. You know, yeah. and we can just we can just remind listeners straight off the bat that if you are a Patreon supporter, uh, you mm-hmm. don't just get the show; you get uh, a day earlier, uh, an extra bit of show uh, mm. with all the stuff that we feel is just a little too inappropriate <laughs> for the main show, or that we forgot to talk about in the main mm. show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. Um, do we want to maybe start off with Geek of the Week this week? Who's Geek of the Week this week? Grant Imahara. Oh fuck yeah! Of course. Now I yeah. don't know who this is, and I've really? watched. You never watched MythBusters? I've watched MythBusters, and it's a guy with a big mustache and a redhead. I've never seen an Asian guy. <laughs> yeah, I even he- watched it very closely. Yeah, because he was a big part of it for many years. One yeah. one of those two people that I just mentioned is Asian. Is that what you're? No, saying? there's four people who were the kind of main hosts. There's huh. no, there was five. Five. All right, Matt hasn't watched Fine. it closely either. <laughs> there you go. Who's the other one? I know Kari Byron. I know Grant Amara, and I know the, the Boris the, Man and and Adam Savage. The first, there was also a third one on that sort of second crew with oh. Grant and Kari. I forget his name. Okay. Well, no wonder, because it sounds fucking confusing. <laughs> How are they busted myths when we don't even know who they are? But it's sort of like one of these crazy things where he just had like a brain aneurysm and died. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Apparently he had a headache like, first. So there was like some warning, which I guess is sort of. Probably not first, happening. Matt. That was probably the aneurysm. No, no, no. But <laughs> what I'm saying is before he died, he had a headache. So, you know. He was, he was actually just work, finished working on a baby Yoda. Yes. So I was worried that you were going to disqualify him for reasons of jealousy. Mm. Do we, do we know how much that. he'd spent on his baby Yoda, and was it animatronic? It was animatronic. It was animatronic. He was gonna, and and I, I was gonna counter that with he built it to bring joy to children in hospital because uh, I thought well, that would that would bring Luke around. Jesus, was that the truth, or are you just no, 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 this is true. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, built it, it as a sex robot. <laughs> 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 yeah, had a little dick hole where the baby Yoda's dick was. <laughs> you just slide it through. And it looks like Baby Yoda has a dick. <laughs> so you fuck it from behind so that your dick comes out yeah. the front of it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. so like, like you know, when you put your hands through somebody else's you know, oh, front yeah. of their arms, so it looks like Ex- you're like their expert hands. double figures. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and then you can have sex with someone else and it's like you're in a Baby like they're Yoda having, three It's like way? they're having sex no, with Baby No, it's just like Yoda. they are having sex with Baby Yoda. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, that's okay. interesting. Yeah. It's one way to do it. How deep is the Yoda? <laughs> From front to back. I just want to know how much of my dick is actually going to poke out of it. <laughs> well, he, he built well, it with like, depends a cutaway on you. in the without, back. Yeah, without so giving get, too like, much away. Get right in. So I, I can get right up close it. Yeah. yeah. Now, remember, Baby Yoda is 50, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's not weird. And that's how Grant Amara died. Yeah. So sad. Um, <laughs> fucked to death by Baby Yoda. Um, <laughs> I did read that um, what, what channel in, the, in America is Mythbusters on? I have no idea. Is it still on? No, no that idea. finished up a couple of years ago. Well, I think it was Discovery. Discovery, yeah. Sure. I, okay, I read that sure. out of out of respect to him and in tribute, Discovery, we're going to play every episode uh, back to back. Yep. I'm like, that was oh, not okay. in fucking in tribute. That's because you know people are going to watch an old show. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't pretend this is anything yeah. except in, marketing. In tribute, we're going to watch our bank balance increase yeah, as we do this. Yeah. Yeah. I used to work at a record store, and if anyone died, we would just bring all their CDs out and put yeah. them at the front. Build a stand, put them at the front. Yeah. yeah. In tribute. <laughs> Please give us your money. That's the air quotes. Mm. In tribute like that uh, cut out of Delta Goodrum that you had back yeah. in the back of HMV. Yeah. You remember my cut out of Delta Goodrum? That's weird. No. Yeah. How could I forget? Uh, uh, do I want to know? Maybe. She came into the store did, one day. Did the listeners want to know? Mm. That Dilt is a good ram. 
It won't be mean. She had cancer. No, I know. I know. Mm. So did Luke. Can't be, can't, mean, be mean. So can't be mean to people who've had cancer. All right, you're off the hook this time, Luke. All right, so uh, so we're giving, we're granting Grant Geek of, Geek the, week. of the Week. Yep. Geek of the Week. All right. That, no, that is sad. And then also kind of terrifying that you can just die. But Yeah. And like, it wasn't was, like he was sick like, or like, anything. I know that that can happen, but I don't like to be reminded mm. that it can happen. Yeah. You can just so, drop dead. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so. Not too much older than us, too, I believe, just to mm. put it into context. 49, I believe. Yeah. 49. Yes. On All right, so I've got nine years. Jesus. Luke's going to make it to 60. He's already told us. So yeah, yep, if you go at 49, I mean, you, you're bowing out early. Yeah. Do we well, have a death pool with, with us? Do we, do we know? Have we, dis- <laughs> have we discussed this? I don't think so. I mean, it's got to be me first, right? I, I, like how we were like, we're going to keep it light. We're keeping it light. When are we going to die? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I assume uh, a former host's. Of this podcast included in the <laughs> I know where I know where I'd be putting my money. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm still going to have to go me first. Yeah. I don't know, no, man. Don't I, I think it's a toss-up between I'm, you two for I'm who pretty lasts. pretty accident prone. From what I you hear, think- every time you go in for a checkup, Luke, the doctors are like, I can't believe this. I can't <laughs> yeah. believe you're still alive. And not only that, he's healthier than I am. Yeah. Somehow. Yeah. Yeah. I mean- my nan thinks you're already dead, Luke. <laughs> so, <laughs> <that's right. laughs> the ghost member of this podcast. Yeah, for, for <laughs> list, I'm sure I've told this on air, but for listeners that haven't been listening all those years, um, my I, how did it start? Um, oh, I think I was just to- I was just talking about Luke generally and just in general conversation, mm. and she went, "Yeah, so so sad that that he passed." And then I said, "Nan, I still see him every day," <laughs> and she said, "Yeah." I'm- I still see your granddad, <laughs> who had died years before. So, you know, oh. she thought I was just being esoteric. Yeah, he just lives on, literally. Matt, have you ever have you ever thought? Because we we actually haven't seen Luke for quite a bit. You know, That's, I mean, I see him on the video screen right now. But mm. yeah, I see, oh, do I we? Point. Because yeah. I mean, is, yeah, this could right. be a sixth sense kind of scenario here. Do you know what I mean? Where we've just <laughs> assumed Luke has always been. Oh, with you us. think that could be an elaborate puppet that Hannah's constructed, following yeah. Luke's baby Yoda schematics? That's actually <laughs> Hannah's dick poking through the hole, <laughs> <laughs> just under the beard line there. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I that's think not if a Hannah had a, if Hannah had a dick, it would be bigger than any dick any of us could ever dream of having. <laughs> I don't know. Is that a compliment? Not because she's tall. I don't know what but that just is. Because no, I just yeah. think she'd have a commanding penis. She'd be very good at having one if she had she'd, one. She'd be excellent at having one. <laughs> I think that's Luke's, a Luke is really? not <laughs> contributing to this. I'm just very happy she doesn't. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wink, Luke. I hope that you love Hannah. To the extent that even if she had a penis, you would continue to love her just as much. <laughs> what? It just grew one overnight or? She's been hiding it from it you all these years. <laughs> as we've learned, you can just die and grow a dick. Mm. <laughs> in that things. order. In that yeah. order. <laughs> Fuck, he's dead. <laughs> Holy shit, he's grown a dick. <laughs> Where do you go from dick there? Dick of the week. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We got some follow up. Uh, apparently, Doctor Disrespect still doesn't know why he was banned, which is weird because he's doing these interviews with a lawyer, and then every time certain subjects come up, like they start asking him about his, you know, oh, he was talking about some COVID conspiracy theories and some David Icke stuff. Was that the reason? And then his publicist is like, um, for legal reasons, he's not going to be discussing that. It's like, it's oh, okay. Sort of- so he doesn't but know sort why. Of- do they say that every time he gets asked about anything or is it only specific things? It's like, oh, you talked only about COVID. Things. Oh, yeah, that was fine. Oh, you talked about this. Oh, yeah, that was fine. You talked about David Icke. I'm not allowed to talk about that. No, this is, he's this- starting to hint at stuff he's going to do in the future, but anytime they sort of try and go to, like, do you know why you're banned or yeah. anything, it's no. This is a, there's an actual quote from the interview where PC Gamer asked him, uh, it's quite a long series of questions, just, it's just saying, you know, you were talking about some conspiracy theories, you were talking about David Icke, blah, blah, blah. Did- that ever result in Twitch saying anything to you or warning you? And he said, no. And they mm. said, do you think that might be the cause? And he said, well, I don't think so. 
In fact, and then his publicist said, <laughs> we're getting very close to dangerous territory here, so oh, uh, I'm going to advise man. you not to say anything else. <laughs> so, Oh, I want to know when fast. I still find it weird that he's saying he doesn't know why he's banned. It just doesn't seem, he must not. Is he still saying he doesn't know or is he just saying he can't talk about it? No, he's still saying he doesn't know. Mm. Well, he also won't talk about why his last stream ended strangely. No. Like, apparently he's been well, told, I, don't I, talk about that. So, okay, so he knows why his stream ended strangely. But of he, course. And he's yeah. not allowed to talk about that. And he's still convinced Apparently. that might be just purely coincidental that he also got fucking booted the same day. <laughs> well, he's saying what? that he found out that he was banned because he was watching someone else streaming mm. and realised he didn't have any of his, his you know, admin controls anymore. Uh, oh. And until that point, he didn't know that he had been banned. So he didn't- and- like his final stream being strange, he's claiming had nothing to do with the ban. Oh, yeah, but he's not talking also, about what it was. So he he thought he was still streaming when he was. No, 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 no. He did log off. He yeah. just right. logged off. Yeah, he said that hmm. there was my um camera was pointed down, and I worried you were going to no, see my crotch. That is that is up to you, mate. Where your camera points <laughs> and where it was mm-hmm. pointing before this call started is mm-hmm. no business for <laughs> yours. Speaking of being banned from Twitch. But it's sort of weird, like, because Twitch to ban him, they just signed a, like, eight-figure contract with him. Yeah. For yeah. A it's really weird. Years. Like, I assume that's got something to do with the gag order that's clearly upon him at the moment. It's just, it's so, like, titillating now. Because there's so many little it, things about it that it's like, he must have done something really bad. Yeah. If, if it, might really he was banned it, was. He, it might have been a really he boring thing. No, he'd be out there complaining and whinging and going, this is unfair. and all. Like, he, he wouldn't be silent about it if he yeah. didn't have an ID. <laughs> yeah. So weird. And then he's talking about what he's going to do next. He's, so, he's not going to go exclusive with anyone anymore. Does he know what he's allowed to do? That's the other he, question. He can do anything he wants, just not on Twitch. But how does he know? Because they apparently they're not talking to him, right? So he's he just signed knows. this exclusive he deal. Knows. That's what I'm saying, right? It doesn't make any sense. He signed he this knows. deal. Ah, right? oh, yeah. They're going to give him a ton of money to be exclusive on Twitch. And then one day they just lock the doors. We, he goes to work and the doors are locked. And he's like, well, I guess I'll go get another job. That's weird. Like, yeah. I don't know if he's allowed. But no, you to. still, you still, you still got this contract that says you can't stream anywhere exactly. else. Exactly. So. so, but if they're not talking to him, mm. how the fuck does he resolve that? So, I, I, there's, I think there must be more to it. He's just not allowed to talk about it. For sure. So, yeah. I don't think it's true to say that he doesn't know. I guess my Especially biggest question is: Does he get so to keep long. the money? Like, is he being exactly <laughs> yeah. like keep the money? I'd and say shut that's your what the lawsuits, or- the legal mm. proceedings are. Yeah, it could that's be. That's right. hinted at are going to be about. Like, that's fine. You bear me, but. Guess where's my $10 million? You know, yeah. that could be true. The publicist might just be saying, just don't talk about Twitch at all because yeah. we need to don't sort that out. And you don't want to say yeah. something that they'll use against you. Mm. Like if he starts shitting on them, they might say, well, that was against the terms of the contract or something. It's, it's probably something really boring, but I really want to know now. Yeah, If exactly. they just said it on the first day, oh, I, uh, you know, I, I said something about the Holocaust denial and now they've booted me from Twitch. Like, okay. <laughs> And I, th- I know you don't get booted off stuff for, for that. Judy Pie <laughs> does it all the time. <laughs> this is the bad thing for Twitch, though, because it's working out well for Doc because he's still getting all this publicity and people yeah. are talking about him, but no one really cares about the Twitch side. Mm-hmm. So if Twitch actually just came out and went, we're cutting ties because of this, it would be done and dusted and people might be upset with him or not. Because but- we're kind of – the assumption is at this point that Twitch is in the wrong, right, seems like, because we don't know. Well, not really sure if anyone's in the wrong. But, I mean, we're not, like, we're kind of on Dr. Dis- Disrespect's side a little bit. Mm. You know, like, the, yeah, I think the, at this the point, name, it's what the narrative is. Yeah, because like, we don't know. unjustly fired. So, yeah. I think That's my dream, though. My dream is to get paid a whole bunch of money to do a job and then told I don't have to do that job. <laughs> oh, you just need to become a CEO. Man, no, <laughs> where they get paid, like, $50 million for getting fired. Ninjas live in the dream. That situation yeah. with Mixer is fucking. Uh. Do we know that that is what happened? He he just he gets to keep everything that was promised to him. Yeah, like- yeah, Ninja. Yeah, yeah, yep. that's confirmed. Yeah, yeah. they've wow. come out and said yeah, because yeah. yeah, it's he signed up for Mixer. He didn't sign up for Facebook, and they can't mm, just yeah. transfer contracts over. Crazy. Mm. So for listeners who missed that, he signed an exclusive deal with Mixer 
for what, like ten million dollars or something? Or- oh yeah, it was mm-hmm. a fair bit of money. And then they this, and then they shut down Mixer, so he gets the ten million dollars and his contract's just null and void, and he just gets ten million dollars and he can do whatever the fuck he wants. So- Unless that, that that only is only if. He already got the ten million as a lump sum. If it was like a million a year for ten years, he he might not ever see th- any of that money. <laughs> like when you win the lotto. Um, yeah. No, no, I think he'd still get paid that out because I think they said that he not has, from a company that pays his contract exist. out. <laughs> yeah, well, it's Microsoft. So Microsoft think- still exists. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I, I feel like they. But said- no, trust me. He came out and said he's getting money. I still don't understand why Microsoft decided to get into bed with Facebook like that. It just makes no sense That's to me. Weird. I don't mm-hmm. like it. I like, like it just sort of shows you don't know your fan base that well. If you thought people yeah. were going to go from Mixer to Facebook, maybe we'll go from Xbox to PlayStation. Then how do you like that? I'll be honest, we guys. Probably won't. There are some there are some exclusives on PlayStation. Yep. That are really mm-hmm. making me have to justify getting the Xbox just because that's what I'm used to. I got to say, there are zero exclusives on the Xbox. Yeah. That I care about. They're kind of just like games that I wouldn't, you know, like Gears yeah. of War. Eh, don't really care. Halo. No, exactly. Eh, not, not, not really for me. Spider Man on the PS4. Yeah. That, woo. Well, ooh. here's something. There's rumor that they're going to buy uh, that Warner Brothers gaming. Oh. So, like huh. the Batman games. Microsoft is buying them, potentially. Yeah, there's rumor that they're yeah, going right. to. Microsoft is just out there just buying game studios now. Because they've realised that they've screwed up with their exclusives. Yeah, right. Okay. So we're not telling them anything they don't know. Yeah, oh, yeah, they know. (laughs) And it's going to be interesting. They've got their, like, presentation E3 substitute this week. So And they're saying it's only going to be games. So we'll see if we've got something good coming out. Look, Mm. I mean, entice me. Because at this point, I'm pretty keen to play The Last of Us. And Ghost of Tsushima looks fucking beautiful. And And that's... What Xbox is missing? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they just yeah, totally. They ne- they ne- they need their naughty dog. I mean, I'm get. <laughs> that's that's, that's the weird. studio, Dan. Yeah, oh, no, <laughs> I'm aware regular. of that. But just when Luke says it, it just sounds so dirty. Um, it's because he winked when he said it. Yeah, that's right. Because he pointed at his dick. <laughs> um, Hannah's dick. Yeah, he pointed at his <laughs> dick. Cyberpunk's coming out on both. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. it's not like. Yeah, guys. I well, really the one thing that Phil Spencer's come out and said, there's going to be no console exclusives anymore. There'll be mm. Microsoft exclusives. So right. oh. anything that comes out on the Series X PC. will also come out on PC. Interesting. Well, my PC is not going to be able to run them. Because <laughs> we got uh, we got two Xboxes in this house, uh, one each. Jenna and I have one each. And so I'm going to have to buy two. Or I guess I could buy an Xbox Series X. That's a new one, right? That's what they're calling it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, and, a, and a PS5. For How often do you actually like play together that you need the two? Well, that's the que- that's and, the thing. Mm. Do, and do we play, like sometimes we play on the same Xbox, right? You play split, split screen or you play yeah. a game that's like, you know, on the same one. So I don't know. It doesn't mm. come up that often, I guess. And then there's also the Xbox. It's going to work with, it's, Xbox One's going to work with the Series X as well. So you don't need to buy two to begin with. Right. So we can still play mm. on an old one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, mm. and you could both even be playing Cyberpunk at the same time because you buy one copy, digital copy, and then it'll work on both. It'll work on the One X and it'll True, work on the Series One X. One of as you well. has to play it oh, with, yeah. gets to play it with. I thought you were going to say it'll work graphics. on the, the, X, the One X and the PS5. I'm like, that'd be fucking wild. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they're going to play that nicely. <laughs> no. Console Wars are dumb. Oh, they've uh, stopped production of the other Xboxes now. So yes. if you want, yeah, if stopped- you want one for some reason, get one now. Mm. You can get. They're still making the Xbox One S, but not the discless version. So huh. they're not okay. So the ser- the One X and the One X Digital, no, but they're still making one because mm. you don't want to lose sales. I don't know who's Completely. out there buying it though. Yeah, they, I mean they can't not they can't not be selling them from now until the other, whenever. The- Weird thing that just happened is they've removed the Xbox Live 12 month subscriptions from sale. And huh. they've come hmm. out and said that's not a mistake. They're not going down that path anymore. They're not going down huh? the 12 so month subscription? If as look, in you have to do it yeah. month to month? 
I think that's what they're doing. Because if you look at the Xbox game, the Ultimate Game Pass, yeah. you can't buy that in a 12-month package or anything. Mm. It's oh. always month to month. Oh, so it's going to be like Netflix. You've got to subscribe kind of thing. Yeah, yeah and okay. I think that's what they're aiming for. Mm, and okay. I, I haven't noticed now because I've got a subscription till next year sometime. So Yeah, I'm, mine's I'm bumped up to some stupid date. I have to check when it is. Yeah. So I'm trying to decide if I should go out and just try and buy some 12-month cards or something. Does that get you – because you have Game Pass I don't know. Ultimate, right? So you would mm. – Yeah. Yeah. Well, speaking of, um, the other thing is xCloud is going to be included in Game Pass Ultimate as of next mm. month or September or something like that. So that's where you can play games on the cloud. Although, so that's that's for on your phone, right? Is that how that works? I think that, it's- so you can play Xbox games on your phone? Like I haven't looked into it too much to tell the truth. I think what it is, I think it's like the uh, you know the Nvidia one that I uh, do. I still have that installed. Yeah, it's all the streaming thing. Yeah, so the game runs in the cloud, and then you just play it on your phone with a controller or whatever, and then it's like yeah, yeah. So that's pretty cool. And I mean, I'll try it because why not? I got X Pass, uh, X Pass, X Pass <laughs> X Series. That's cloud. what they should call it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm. I'm hoping that I can finally pre-order it this week when they, because I just. But Microsoft, let me give you money. <laughs> I might get. Hey, but, I might get a PS4 when they're cheaper when the five comes out or something. Because I do want to. I do want to play Spider-Man, but I don't get to play games that often that I really need mm. to be worrying about this as, as much as I seem to be. I. I actually went out and bought a PlayStation Three and got like yeah. the Uncharted, oh. Last of Us, and never got played one. the. Yeah. Yeah. I played five like, minutes of The Last of Us the other week. And then I actually forgot. I, that's the thing. I forget that it's there. Mm. So I guess that's how badly I want to play it is I forget that I can. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not the type of game that you can pick up and put down. It's something that no. you need to devote time to. Well, especially because if like a PlayStation controller is like a foreign language to me. Yeah, you got to like mm. you got to yeah. attune. I've, I'm terrible with them. So Terrible. Well, speaking of games that I did pick up and then put down and then never pick up again, uh, No Mm. Man's Sky is- Mm. uh, I keep wanting to go back and play that, but then- It's a really great game. I'm glad I didn't get in too early on that because I know before, you know, we got the- We started playing when the, whatever, the the update that turned it into an actual game. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm. Yeah. So that was good. But now they've got uh, this- There's actually been updates since we stopped playing, I think, that have added fun stuff. Uh, and the new one, Desolation, looks really cool. Um, it adds... So there, there are already apparently these derelict ships floating around that you can like okay. fly and explore. And then, well, Sorry, you couldn't fly, you couldn't land on them and do stuff before, but now you will be able to explore them and they've got like aliens in them and shit. And it looks really creepy. Yeah, it looks like it basically turns No Man's Sky into alien isolation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe. And it also they've tweaked the, the combat experience because the combat in it's a bit sh- shit. Really, but that, I mean that's not why I played it. Yeah, I didn't do anyway. much combat to be fair. Yeah, not not why I played uh, it. I'm nervous about going back to it though because it's not an easy game to Look, when you're playing it and you're going around through. It. Mm. But it's not a hooky but when you game, start the game, it sort of holds your hand a little bit though, and it tells you what to do, and then mm. it sort of gets to a point where it's ah, oh, you should know how to do this by now. But when going back to it, oh. I don't remember mm, like okay. that's true. how to craft fuel and a new jump drive and, and all that what's stuff. What's important. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, because you get stuck on a planet. Yep. Speaking of aliens, I mm. went and watched mm. an old movie this week. Mm. Uh, not entirely sure why. It just it just popped into my head how much everyone hates Alien 3. <laughs> and I uh, hate Alien Three. I decided to watch it, and uh, I really, really like this movie. I, I mean, I understand it went through some development hell to get to where it is, and <laughs> yeah. I understand that uh, the studios made it quite uh, unenjoyable for director David Fincher <laughs> uh, doing his first feature film to the point where he refuses to talk about it in interviews now. But um, I think it's a solid movie, and I think it's yeah. a. It's a really interesting follow-up to Aliens, uh, mm-hmm. James Cameron's. Different. Yeah, because it kind of took it a little bit back to the kind of the horror that the first mm-hmm. Alien movie was. And, uh, yeah, I really dug it. It kind of loses itself a little bit. Plus, I I watched the extended cut, which kind of yeah. the plot happens twice. Yeah. You know, they everyone's mm-hmm. trying really hard to trap it in that 
Yeah, it's a bit in messy. That room. And there's that extra thing about the the one who's worshiping it a bit, and that that got cut from the theatrical one. Yeah, that's. Right. I like and those. I like those why. ideas, but it was never really. Yes. Yeah. 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 They could have developed that idea and made it the plot, as opposed to just oh, here's another know. thirty minute scene that we removed yeah. where this happens. I made the mistake because Jenna had not seen Alien Three, and then we watched it, and then. We watched that version of it, which mm-hmm. I, because I hadn't seen it, I wanted to see it. And then so yeah, she's like, this movie is fucking terrible. And I was like, well, the, 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 yeah, normally it, normally it's not as bad. <laughs> yeah. We watched it. But I still liked it. I weird. still really liked it. I, and um, it's because I, I, you know what it is? I'm listening to the second season of Blockbuster at the moment. Oh, yeah. And uh, the episode from last week was him making aliens. Yeah. And, okay. uh, so I think they just put it in my head, but oddly I didn't watch his his alien movie. I watched the <laughs> other one. And I thought no. about keeping going, but then I don't really want to see Alien Resurrection again. I just uh, don't have any desire to watch it. What about Alien vs. Predator? I I would be more <laughs> likely to put that better. on. I would be more likely to put that on, to be honest. I have watched that fairly recently. I watched because um we uh, after I you know met Lance Henriks in it, um mm. but on Comic Con I watched uh, Alien vs Predator because he's in that again, yeah, and it's it's not good. Matt, there is a scene in Blockbuster mm. where Lance Henriksen puts the foil on his teeth. What? Yeah, but either we got it wrong or they've tweaked that for effect. But they do mention that in. I mean, in he told me that story. So. Yeah. I mean, di- the way I that don't I- have it wrong unless unless he told me it wrong. Okay, well then you clarify because the way I heard sure. it originally was that he put the foil in his teeth for his audition, so that when he went in there, he no, it was robotic. It wasn't for James Cameron. It was James Cameron it was, was trying investor. to sell yes, yes, okay. to sell them on him as the Terminator. Yes, that, that yeah. is that is okay. So I was yeah. I was wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what it is. Okay. Yeah, because James Cameron um, was already friends with him and wanted him to do it, and then mm. yeah, and then they said uh, he he said that the they they told James Cameron anybody but that guy, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he is not allowed back in. Well, I mean, if this is to be believed, he also broke down the door to their office. Yeah, I did hear that. Like he kicked the door in. Yeah, and he said he harassed the secretary on the way in and yeah. everything as well. Yeah, mm. he said he really mm. went overboard because Jim. He said Jim told me to go nuts, so I did. It did not work out. I'd say that the guy who does Schwarzenegger, um, it's the best Arnie impersonation I've seen. I've ever seen. Really? Or heard? Heard? I, I haven't seen it. <laughs> Obviously, maybe it's, it's just him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna have to listen to this. Yeah, you should, and you should listen to the first season as well. Yes, I know. I have it. I have it it's a whole the, episode podcast. about fucking John Williams. About fucking jo- John Williams. Johnny W. Yeah, about, <laughs> about that time George Lucas <laughs> fucked John Williams. All right. I'll, I mean, I won't watch it. I've, done, no, I've made the same you mistake. listen to it. Yeah. Let's watch my phone screen as I listen to it. Mm. I watched a space movie again this week mm. uh, because it's a weird coincidence. I just, for some, the re- I watched The Martian, mm. but the reason I watched mm. The Martian is nothing to do with the fact that I watched Interstellar. It's because I watched an interview with Harry Gregson Williams who did the score for The Martian. Right. And I was like, oh, I want to watch that movie again. And then as I was watching it, I was like, this is the same people that were in Interstellar. Yeah. Which is just a coincidence. Although his movie in Interstellar is almost like a different movie that's just in that movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Matt Damon, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's almost like in Interstellar, they just- I know, And I was like, oh, is that a spoiler? I was thinking about this. I'm like, is that a spoiler? I mean, it's not really a spoiler because it's not plot. It's just the fact that it's kind of a weird spoiler where they just didn't tell anyone Matt Damon was in the movie. Mm. Like, it doesn't matter to the story. It could have been any actor playing that role. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. It's just yeah. in the movie, when, when he shows up in, in the theater, everyone was like, the fuck, Matt Damon's in this movie? Mm. It's like the opposite kind of spoiler to when Benedict Cumberbatch um, in Star Trek it was or, Khan. Yeah. And everyone was like, oh, you're playing Khan. He's like, no, I'm not playing Khan. And it was mm. the same thing when um, Blofeld in the latest James Bond. Yes. Uh, where uh, Christoph, Christoph Waltz. Waltz. Yeah, was just like, yeah. nah, it's not Blofeld, mate. And then in the movie, it's like, by the way, I'm Khan. Or I'm Blofeld. Yeah. And everyone's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we assumed. Said that. I mean, it's like yeah. this one. Rami Malek, I'm assuming he's playing Dr. No. It's called No Time to Die. Yeah. And I've seen and him like, in the nah. little, little Chinese collar. He's like, I'm not playing Dr. <laughs> no, mate. I don't know why you think that. 
It's but haven't they learned that that fans fucking hate when they do that? Yeah. By now, I mean, JJ yeah. I mean, Abrams learned. He said that was that was a mistake. Yeah, he so goes, I should not have, not have made a big deal out of that. We just upset a bunch of people, and we got nothing out of it except people got mad at us. Like there was yeah. no point in lying about it. <laughs> so, but the, the the Martian is a fucking great movie. I love it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there was one thing in it that bugged me a bit when I watched it the first time mm-hmm. because I read the book first. Uh, is everyone everyone seen it? You guys yep. all seen it? No. No? Okay. Look, uh, do you just well, not watch science fiction movies anymore? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, you, you like, know I, under, I understand right? when I'm talking about some weird art house movie that you're going to be like, Danny, I have not seen that and I don't intend to. <laughs> but, like, these big tentpole sci-fi movies and you're like, no, nope, never heard of it. The I did Martian, the skip Martian, for some reason. Never heard of it. <laughs> You've been photoshopped into the poster, Luke, and you've still never seen it. <laughs> Yeah. Send him there. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know the plot of The Martian, right? Yes. So he gets, he gets trapped on Mars not a huge and it, he has to sort of survive by himself. No, there's no end. take a month he's to go rescue him. Yeah. Yeah. So they're coming up with ways to, he's coming up with ways to survive while they're coming up with ways to get him off there. And then it's, it's yeah, all get very- Get him off. Very, yeah. yeah. It's all very uh, based in science in the, I mean, it's not- Super. It's not 100 percent realistic, but it is based on like real science and stuff. So yeah, it's, it's very grounded. It's like an Arthur C. Clarke novel where it's yeah, it's yeah. Still- they tried to take that into consideration. Yeah, there's one bit which I guess is a little bit of a spoiler. So if, if you haven't seen The Martian, uh, or if you care about spoilers, because Luke doesn't, so I'm not too worried about Luke. Just the listeners. Nope. Uh, there is a sequence at the end where in the book. He's got to get a little more distance. Like he's trying to, he's launched up and he's trying to get back to the ship, the Hermes, the ship that his crew is on. They come back for him mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. he's trying to get there. He needs to get a little bit distance. And he says in the book, he says, why don't I cut the finger off my suit mm-hmm. and it'll shoot, you know, my me. air out and I can yeah. fly like Iron Man to mm-hmm. you. And then in the book, they're like, that's fucking insane. And yeah, he goes, yeah, you're right. That's work. a dumb idea. Because- <laughs> I mean, space. How the fuck? Yeah, are we gonna- <laughs> yeah. and how in the I movie, steer? yeah, he Everyone does. Was it. Like, yeah, Iron Man is rad. Do it. Yeah, and then apparently the, the they shot it both ways, where he did and he didn't, and then the studio were like, "Yeah, Iron Man's popular. That's how he's doing it." Yeah, go, go with the one where he does it. <laughs> and then in, I remember when I saw it in the theater, I was like, "Oh God, he's going to actually do it," and then it bugged me a bit. But then on the rewatch. It's not as bad as I remember. Like, it, it kind of, they made it mm, work. Okay. So. There, there's a part in Ad Astra that's like that too, where I'm like, I don't think the physics of that checks out. But I'm yeah. no fucking astrophysicist. Speaking about Astra, because we've been talking about watching it, I, I did see a, a, a quote this week from the director, James Gray, uh, that I liked. Oh, it's actually, it's not a quote, it's just a headline. Uh, director James Gray doesn't have time for your science-based criticisms of his space drama. So, <laughs> all right. So, don't, it's not The Martian, is what you're saying. Not The Martian. Exactly right. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. No, uh, Luke, watch The Martian. Oh, I, it's on my to-do list. It's basically a, a documentary about what your life's going to be like when you get to Mars. Yeah. Uh, are there any lightsabers? No. No. I keep thinking I should go back and watch Star Wars. There are spaceships and explosions. And yeah, I don't. I, I, I know I would like it. I don't know why I haven't it's a seen lot of it. Potatoes. A lot of potatoes. Let's see. Do I have it on any of the streaming services? It's very good. It's a very good movie. Let's see. The Doing Mar- some research. Uh, I've got Interstellar. Oh, yeah. Oh, we'll start there. Yeah, Interstellar's <laughs> good, man. Except for that one little bit, <laughs> which we've discussed that nauseam. So I'll mm. shut up. Yeah. <laughs> For me, there's probably three little bits you could have just trimmed out of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it would have right. been it better off. Problem. Well, actually, you know what? This is a pretty good segue uh, if you want to talk about Stanley Kubrick because Interstellar is a little bit 2001. I always talk about Stanley Kubrick with you. I, uh, I read an article this week about uh, The Matrix and the cinematographer from The Matrix, Bill Pope. Mm-hmm. Bill Pope. Uh, he's, mm-hmm. he's a very famous cinematographer and he was talking about why the sequels aren't very good or in his- I think he said they were they were shit, basically. Mm. Uh, and were. he said, in his opinion, the reason is everything that was good about this is a quote. Everything that was good about the first experience was not good about the last two. We weren't free anymore. People were looking at you. There was a lot of pressure. So that's a factor. Mm-hmm. The other I thing mean, is you know. 
the Wachowskis read a book by Stanley Kubrick that said, actors don't do natural performances until you wear them out. So apparently they just started doing like 90 fucking takes of everything. And then, uh, and basically the crew were fucking miserable. Mm. And, and you, and you the said, cast you the probably film. were as well. Yep. And they said, that's when you watch the film, it looks like everyone's fucking miserable because we were. Yeah. Because, like, normally you, you, you take a few takes, but you're not taking anything. You take, like, what, we five? You do it until you have the one you maybe want. Maybe that. Yeah, but if you get yeah. to take 10, then you've got to ask yourself what's going on. Like, okay, maybe, yeah. I'm, maybe I'm explaining it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But Because but, well, there's the opposite Stanley's, scale where Stanley George was, Lucas just does one. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Uh, Kubrick was notorious for doing right. multiple takes and then sending everyone home and coming back the next day and to do the exact same scene again. But yeah. his cast hated him for it. And most people <laughs> who were in a Stanley Kubrick movie, and a lot of them wanted to be in one, mm. but mm. they never spoke to him again after being in Very few people are in more than one. Yeah, he's, he was an oddball. Yeah. Like, and, like there was that story about with the the-, the Cinematographer on Full Metal Jacket, I think, mm-hmm. uh, switched the lenses on the yeah. camera. Have you heard that story? Yeah. And then yeah. Kubrick came back and was like, you fired. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Isn't that his job? <laughs> well, you would think so. Mm. <laughs> but Kubrick could put a lens on that he wanted. And he yeah. Was- yeah. Yeah. Because, it- mm. yeah, Kubrick had gone, look, put the, put the camera here, uh, mm. put a 25 millimeter lens on, uh, and then he walked off and he came back and the, the camera was further back and with a 50 mil lens on. He's like, yeah. why'd you do that? He's like, well, uh, I, I've moved it back. So it's the same focal length, but actually we can we can get more coverage this way. And he's like, get off my fucking You're fine. <laughs> yeah, do what I say. <laughs> I, watched, uh, I watched a movie this week that I really enjoyed. And Matt, I think you'd enjoy it too. Luke, not so much because it's three hours long and there's no I'd lightsabers leave. in it. But Matt, I, I watched a movie from the 80s called Amadeus, which is the story oh, of Mozart. I know of it. I've never seen yeah. it. I should watch I know, it. Same. In, in fact, I had seen it when I was a kid, but uh, it doesn't really count. This is the first time I watched it, you know, as, a, as an adult, a thinking adult. It's told from the point of view of uh, his greatest rival, Salieri, who was played by F. Murray Abraham. Oh. Who, who is now in <laughs> Mythic Quest. Yeah, right? I love him. But he's an old man in Mythic Quest, and he's a young, youngish man in Amadeus. Yeah, but right. it's narrated by him as an old man in old man makeup, and it's quite funny to see. <laughs> well, that's not really he's what he ended up as looking Guy like in Prometheus. It's very Guy Pierce, although much better than Guy Pierce. I, I don't. I still don't know why <laughs> they thought that was okay. Mm-hmm. But in terms of uh, it's it's melodramatic. It's a, it's it is a melodrama. But but like all, all right. good melodramas, it makes you want to watch a movie with that tone. You know, right. like by just virtue of being good. I, I think a movie like uh, Forrest Gump does the same thing. You put Forrest Gump on, and you spend the first five minutes going, "Oh man, this is really over the top. I don't think I'm into this." <laughs> but then yeah. it makes you want to watch over the top as it progresses yeah um but uh amadeus is great if there's there's a yeah i mean just you being a composer it's about composers and Mm -hmm. uh you know there's there's scenes where they're kind of composing at each other and it's just really interesting to watch (laughs) but it's also just this kind of huge rivalry between these two men who are both being given all the opportunities and all the accolades but they don't see that. All they see is what they're missing out on and what the other yeah, person right. has that they don't. And it's just it's a really great film. All right. I'm gonna add that to the list. Only oh, film in Jeffrey history. Jeffrey Jones in it, Dan. It does. It does have Jeffrey Jones. He plays, yeah. he, I mean, doesn't play a pedophile. I mean, you know, not on screen at least. But, well, we, um, know. we know. We know. But we know. Yeah, it's implied. It's implied that he's a pedophile. There's this great scene, and apparently this is true as well, where um, Mozart's first opera premieres and he comes up afterwards and goes, yeah, I liked it, but there's just there's too many notes. Can we cut out a couple of the notes? <laughs> and Mozart goes, "What?" He's like, you know, just there's only so many notes that a person can hear in a, in a span of time. So just remove a few of the notes, and I think it'll be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> well, I watched a movie today. I watched the Three Amigos. Hey, okay. 
<laughs> so it took you a couple of attempts it. to watch he's, this. He's been building up to watching it for weeks <laughs> yeah. and weeks. This is why yeah. Luke never watches anything. He's, he's like, sizzle it up for two weeks. Audio before. is just but not. I still just love the part him. where it just goes completely off the rails and they go into the singing bush yeah. and the invisible guy yeah, the invisible and ninja. Just for no reason, mm-hmm. like it just, just for a joke. That's and Randy Newman. Back to that's the Randy Newman singing. Oh, that's the right. Yeah. That singing bush. He was also a co-writer of the script. I, I think it's just because it's it's kind of a piss take on those movies that just throw curveball plots in. Mm. Because mm. you never you never see them get that advice, and it doesn't pay off at all. It's just when you <laughs> see the singing bush. You've got to fire three times in the air while saying the magic word, and then the invisible swordsman will come down and point you towards the. Yep, but he gets shot, and so. But then we just go back to the actual yeah. story. But why mm-hmm. would it? Why would a fucking? Remote well, they followed the plane camp right of- after that. That's how yeah, they- yeah, yeah. It was a mail plane. That's right. You know how you can yep. tell? Little balls, balls. <laughs> <laughs> but can I just say, best part of that movie is. That early scene where they're getting chewed out by the studio execs. Yeah. And the cast in that scene, it's, um, fuck, I can't remember anyone's name. What a fucking surprise. Um, it's, it's like every, every voice from The Simpsons. It's uh, Joe Montana who does Fat Tony. Oh. He's there. It's, um, it's a noise, man. I can't I'm remember. I'm trying his to remember. Name. I know that. The I guy that, that does like- Troy McClure. Mm. Yeah. Um, um. Phil Hartman? Phil Hartman. Phil Hartman. Yeah. Yeah. And who else? It's someone else as well. Oh, yeah. We it's Joe him. Montana, yeah. Phil Hartman, and John Lovitz all in one oh, scene. of course. Yeah. With the three amigos. It's just yeah. this absolute kings of comedy sequence. Yeah. W- was that an audio glitch or was that a <laughs> software? Okay, Luke doesn't even know no. what he's going to watch next. The Maybe the Martian. I just love we'll find out. I love the cast. Maybe the listeners. Martian. You should watch the Martian. We told you to watch something last week too. I forget what it was, but we did. Oh, you should watch Edge of Tomorrow, and it oh, is yeah. on Netflix. I know it is. Live, die, repeat. Correct. That's what it should have been called. It, yes, right. but don't don't look at L and decide it's <laughs> not on there and m- move off. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So Edge of Tomorrow. I will see what I can do. If I were you. Uh, I would watch that before The Martian or before Interstellar. Okay. I have to watch Tom Cruise. Yeah. What you, hey, Tom Cruise is great. What the fuck are you on about? Yeah, mate. Tom your old Cruise is Tom. crazy. Hey, who has met him? <laughs> Me. Yeah, hey, you're yeah. not allowed to tell people you met him. That was one <laughs> of his very strict provisos. I think the statute of limitations on promises expired. I think when That's you're a cool. kid- and a strange man comes into your room at night <laughs> and tells you that you're not allowed to tell anyone strange man. about what's happening, then yeah. there is no statute of limitations. And the Catholic Church has proven that over and mm-hmm. over again. <laughs> I watched something this week. I forgot to put it in here. Uh, and we did briefly chat about it on Messenger. But I watched Hamilton, finally. Yes. Oh, okay. Because uh, it's on Disney+. Plus. Mm, man, I, watched uh, it. I watched it as well. Fucking hell. I can see what all the fuss was about. I don't know why I didn't watch this earlier. Man, or, I'm glad I, or you go did. see it. <laughs> dude, well, dude, you, I mean, the tickets were fucking expensive. We yeah. saw it. Hui and I saw it on the trip. We were all in New York City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I recall. Yeah, um, but we had booked those tickets like eight months earlier. Yeah, and uh, no, it's fucking fantastic. Check it out. Yeah. It's Luke one of those that? most so it, beautifully staged is it a, productions. Is it? A, is it a comedy? It's, it's funny. got funny bits. Yes, for sure. For funny. funny bits. Okay, because yeah. mm. that's what I like. That's how I like my my plays. I mean, it's, I like it's them funny. It's not. It, it's not Book of Mormon. <laughs> no, there are very few rape jokes and AIDS jokes in there. Mm. And okay, gay jokes. Uh, there is some underlying homosexuality if you want to read that into it. Mate, the king is so mm. good, the and I was like, great. I'm like, <laughs> that guy looks like the guy from Mindhunter. Mm-hmm. And then the next time he was on, I'm like, that is Fucking the guy is. from Mindhunter. It's Holden. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, I had to check. I Googled. And I was like, Fucking hell. He, There's he's some a videos very good on, actor. online of him and Lynn Morel Miranda. Lynn Morel Miranda. Lynn Manuel Miranda. <laughs> it's Lynn Manuel Miranda's brother. Yeah. <laughs> um, doing just fucking 
singing together on rooftops and stuff, just hanging really? out. Yeah. They're just mates. Yeah. They're mates. Yeah. So he was in Hamilton first? Is that? He's original Yeah, cast. okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he right. was. He was. He's a big Broadway queen, though. He's in a lot of old stuff. Because yeah, right. when I started watching Mindhunter, Quay was like, uh, what's this guy doing in it? Because she knows him from <laughs> Broadway, you know. Yeah. I'd literally never seen him in anything before. So I just went like, and his character is, if you haven't seen Mindhunter, his character is odd. So I just yeah. assumed he was like that. But I guess he's just a good actor. Yeah, I think that's what it is, right? I think because, I mean, he's- not even remotely the same. No, that's in Hamilton. Seen, well, that's, he, and he's, I was like, that can't belting be belting out. He's like, probably the best vocalist in Hamilton. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, mm. like and like very camp and and hilarious. Just completely the opposite of Holden. Yeah, because Holden's yeah. very awkward and yeah, anyway, just fantastic. And then, yeah. yeah, the play in general, awesome. I thought because uh, people have been trying to sell me on it, like not. You know, mm. not a lot. But every time I talk to people about, oh, no, you'll like it. I'm like, oh, I don't know. I don't, I'm not really. Because everyone made it seem like it was, I thought it was like one of those historic rap battles YouTube videos for three hours. <laughs> and I was like, I don't think I can watch three hours of that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's, and yeah. it's not that at all. Quay introduced me to it as a hip hopera. And I was like, I've no right. interest. I've literally no interest in watching that. Exactly. Yeah. Um, that's what I thought. But literally one minute into hearing her listen to the soundtrack in the next room, I was like, okay, I'm into this. What yeah. Is this? It's got rap. Well, I'm yeah, but it's it's good and it's clever and it's not all rap. It's like they rap bits and then they sing and then it's like mm. it's, a, it's basically it's a musical with some some very clever, yeah, very like, well done. Uh, the rap heart of stuff. it is hip hop, but um, yeah. it is very varied and it's more like it's other very musicals good. than it is like a rap album. Yeah, exactly. And it's all and it all happens in your backyard, Matt. It, it's like all right. your your area. I will say the first. Probably 10, 20 minutes of it because it, 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 it is like it is rap heavy. And then it, I found it very difficult to follow because it's very quick and it's very well mm. done. Mm. So I was like, oh, God, am I going to be able to understand what the fuck is going on? But then it, it settles in and it's like, mm. oh, no, okay, we're in Revolutionary War. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. We're good. Yeah. Yeah. Can we please get back to politics? Well, one, I might watch it once Mandalorian season two comes out. All yeah, right. you should, Luke. Because when you when you well, do your, nut, your next free sign up for a month, watch Mandalorian two, uh, and they come out week to week. So you're gonna you're gonna have well, no, like seven a, or eight weeks. I'm happy to pay for Disney Plus, but I only want to pay when there's something like I want to watch on there. <laughs> mm. Hamilton does not have a baby Yoda. Just be warned. I don't want you to get disappointed. No, <laughs> it doesn't. It does not have a baby Yoda. No, no aliens at all. Well, actually, that's not true. It's got immigrants. So yeah, it's a, yeah. They get the job mm-hmm. done, Matt. There you go. That's right. Yeah. Um, mind you, he was a white immigrant. stuck in my fucking head for days afterwards, so that says something about him. Yeah. But yeah. It's our myself, number one sing-along CD in the car. No, I'm not. And uh, singing along a couple of days later, I was like, well, okay. Job well I'm done, so man. glad you liked it, Matt, honestly, because- I loved uh, it. I, like, honestly, at yeah. the end, I was like, fucking- I can't believe it took me this long to, to watch this. It was fucking great. Fuck, see, now I wish you'd seen it with me in New York. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish I had too. Yeah. And I saw an interview with him the other day because uh, they were doing an original cast performance or at mm. least one. I'm not sure whether they did like another a tour or something, but they were doing at least one. And he was in an interview and he said that he had to, because it's been years since he'd done it, mm-hmm. um, he had to go back had and to relearn relearn all oh, the wow. lyrics because- yeah. There's so many lyrics. Like, yeah, man. Just, like, oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. And because people listen to the soundtrack before they go and see a Broadway show. Yeah, they know it. People know it. So you yeah. can't wing it. You can't forget what comes up and just kind of flab something out. Like, yeah. there's a lot of fucking words in this <laughs> in this play. Um, yeah. But just talking it's about very cast I don't, members. Like, yes. I don't think I should be in the theatre then. <laughs> you'll you'll somehow make, make lines them. up. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Improv. <laughs> make the people mm-hmm. around you improv. That's his. That's his. Well, that's what Henry Cavill does, apparently, as, yes. as the Witcher. Works. <laughs> so he man. just refuses to say his lines. You know, it's funny. I I actively disliked Henry Cavill in almost everything he was in actively. until I saw the Witcher. <laughs> yeah, I picked it outside Whoa. his house. <laughs> Um, but after Witcher, I've now seen him in things I saw him in before with a yeah, new- Yeah, he's good. Like, because we rewatched uh Mission Impossible. 
that he's in. Oh, yeah. Mission Fallout. Impossible Fallout. Yeah. Mm. That's a good movie. Um, yeah. It is. It is. For what it it's, is. It's, it's, yeah, it's mm, exactly right. It's, yeah. And it's probably, to be honest, it's not, it's not the best Mission Impossible movie. <laughs> no, but, but it's, it's like, by far it not the worst. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah. But actually, he's quite good in it. Yeah. As that kind of, mm. is he a double agent? You don't really know. Because well, he's, kind of, he's playing a knob. So it's like. Yeah. He, yeah, he, but he does yeah. it really well. Mm. Um, he did love a the mustache. PC build <laughs> live stream this week. What? That's yeah, cool. he did a live stream of himself yeah, building his that. PC. Apparently he put his CPU in the wrong way and everybody was like, no. Less. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He seems like a nice um, guy, actually. You know, he was, it was down to him and Daniel Craig for who was going to be James Bond. Really? Yeah. And they he were both been- put on hold. Like they were both like, don't take any other jobs. It's down hmm. to you and one other guy. And he was like, I got fucking Zack Snyder on the phone. Wants to know if I'll be super. Yeah. I'm already growing this mustache. You should have said no. <laughs> mm. Is he coming back as Superman? He so. wants to, but no yeah. one's no one's told him he is, evidently. Well, he's, he's, if I, he if Geek Tyrant is anything to Justice believe, League. he wants to. Mm. Uh, but there isn't anything really? on the horizon. Well, I mean, I guess it's all about Batman at the moment and 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 I mean, did, I think Superman movies are probably done for the time being, right? For the for a they while, were done least, when yeah. they were making. Them. I don't know. Are we going to get any movies for fucking years now? No, but like you'll get a Wonder Woman. Do you know what I mean? There's already one a- of them made. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. But yeah, it's going to be a dry patch. Well, speaking of Tenet, we've been talking about mm. it a little bit. Um, they're going to have to delay it. I, th- well, I mean, I, I would imagine they'd have to delay it. Uh, but apparently, they're not not committing to doing that yet. But mm. uh, well, I hear the- that uh, cinemas are open in Australia again. Well, they're open yeah. here, but no one's going. That's oh, the okay. They're just they're um, just playing shot here. Like if you drive past the the, the one near us, they they're playing like Empire Strikes Back, Back to the Future, mm. like all these great movies. That I'm like, oh, that'd be good, but I don't want to go. Yeah, like yeah. so they're trying, but uh, yeah, and, and uh, Tenant will need to gross eight hundred million to break even, mm. uh, and they're they're thinking there's no fucking they, way that's going to happen. Yeah, they can't release it. Until like what is the they need theaters to be busy, not mm. just oh people can okay. go if you want. Like, yeah, yeah. Mm. It's not Imagine happen. that. How many people saw it opening weekend? Twelve. <laughs> That's right. It's not not good. So they're gonna have to hold it. And then Bond. Uh, apparently, mm. rumor is mid next year before Bond's out, which makes sense because both of those films they need people to fucking cram in there and, and yeah. see it, and you just can't do that right now. Yep. That's right. And if you lose money on this, there won't be any more. Yeah. You know, yeah, because, they're not well, going to go. And, and which is so weird because it's like, well, we know why, right? It's because of the pandemic. Mm. But then that's not going to matter. No. Because it's a gamble now. Honestly, I think Tenet would have struggled to do this even if it wasn't for the pandemic. Let's yeah, well, see. That's, I, I really know, I know what right. you mean, man. Yeah. Because mm. what, what did you say the figure 800 was? 800 million. million? Yeah, I don't know, man. Mm. Yeah. Like for- it's a new property. It's not like a Bond or a Marvel. It's a I yeah, it's, because it's, it's not Nolan. Batman Four. It's Christopher think, Nolan again trying to fuck your brain. Yeah, I think it might yeah. have done. It might have got there if things were normal. But I think now it's probably in trouble. Mm. Because how long are you going to have to hold out until cinemas are packed again? Right. Exactly. Maybe never. Maybe because everyone might because everyone's be like, you know what? made other arrangements now. Yeah. Um, speaking of films, though, old films that. Star people from Mindhunter. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if I'm saying this right, but Holt, Holt McCallany, the, right? The, the other guy. The other guy who's not Holden. The, the guy is in from Alien, Alien 3. Is in Alien 3. <laughs> yeah. He's in a lot of Fincher films, actually. He's in he's Fight in Club. Fight Club in, too, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They go way back, I guess. Yeah. Well, Mindhunter is Fincher for anyone who doesn't That's know. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Apparently- so season three of Mindhunter, I keep hearing alternating things that it's not not it's not that it's never happening. It's just that Finch is too busy to do it right now, and so okay. we basically just have no idea if it's ever going to happen. What is Fincher doing right now? I'm gonna well, yeah, this up. that's I was curious because what could he be doing right now? Because no one, although they started shooting things again, so they mm. have. And let's see, I want to watch um, Gone Girl again now. I was thinking the same. It, yeah, yeah I great. wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind giving that another look. Okay, he's got a film coming out apparently this year called yeah. Mank, 
which is uh, oh okay, this is interesting. It's a uh, it's about uh, Herman Mankiewicz, who is the screenwriter of Citizen Kane. Oh, so there's okay. a biopic on him that could be interesting. Uh, he's got a movie called Lang or Lange L A N G E. Lange Lange is a brewery. Uh, oh, it's about um, it's about the photographer Dorothea Lange Lands Lang. Um, oh, and he's doing t- the um, he's producing the Chinatown prequel. He which is, is he is weird. doing the Chinatown prequel. Well, there's already a sequel to Chinatown. I don't know if you've seen that. No, there is a sequel to Chinatown where Jack Nicholson plays the same character that he did in Chinatown, and he really? directs the film. The fuck did I not know that? That's weird. It's uh, let me let me give you the name of it. China sequel. Chinatown Two. <laughs> yeah, Chinatowner. <laughs> it's called <laughs> the Two Jakes. Huh. Yeah. Two Jakes. Never heard of it. It's it's not bad. It's not sequel to China. A classic. Go. Fucking hell. Yeah. And he directed it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bizarre. Hmm. Might watch that. Yeah, give it a go. I'll watch Chinatown again. Ooh, I don't want to watch that good. nose cutting scene. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. That is the least damage that Roman Polanski has ever inflicted on one of his victims. <laughs> 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 he is lucky. He is lucky that he didn't get, you know, sodomized in a pool. It was his yeah. pool. It was yeah, Jack I was say, it's Jack Nicholson's pool. pool. And then for listeners, in case, well, Roman Polanski directed Chinatown and also plays the man with the knife. So, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Jack, um, you're going to be home later this afternoon. <laughs> no, good. Could I, could I use your pool? Okay. No, best if you don't know, Jack, to be honest. Best <laughs> if you don't know. <laughs> you got um, any quaaludes? Oh, God. Um, have we got any? <laughs> I was going to say, have we got any? No, we'll do that in the after party. What were you going to ask? <laughs> I was going to ask if we have any end of a herd news. But oh, oh, yeah. We'll probably. do that in the after party. So, do we have any Mike Tyson fighting a shark news? I, I doubt surely, it. surely, gentlemen, this is the best of all possible worlds. When I found out today that we get to watch Mike Tyson fight a great white shark, the most dangerous man on land fights the most dangerous animal in the ocean. What? What is he going to do? What? That? He's going to go underwater. This can't be it true. Is true. It is. <laughs> I mean, obviously, it's a stunt. He's doing it for stunt week, but he also says this is, quote, for science. <laughs> Can so, a man fight a shark? It's for science. I just, I don't, okay, I, fair enough. I can't imagine how he, he's going to be allowed to fight a shark mm-hmm. just because. Well, Matt, it's part of shark Matt, because it's animal cruelty for starters. Well, that's like- only if he wins, right? <laughs> Sure. Which, <laughs> honestly, my money is not going to be on Tyson. <laughs> no. I mean, I, I on land, what, sure. They're actually, just going to okay, put him there with it. If they were doing right. this at Madison Square Garden, my money would definitely be on Tyson. But he's <laughs> fighting this thing in the ocean. They're calling this Rumble on the Reef. <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah, he's accepted the challenge. Yeah, let's do. <sighs> <laughs> challenge. So it's like the, the shark has been like fucking it's come so here and vague. say that. Smack it's down. So vague. He will try to score a TKO on a shark <laughs> over the bush. All the name of. In other words, he just has to give him one good punch to the nose. This is so weird. Famed ring announcer Michael Buffer will be calling the shots as these two heavyweights will square off <laughs> underwater. Are they going to? Where Mike play? Tyson will try to score a TKO on the massive shark. Quote, <laughs> all in the name of scientific research. Is this, they're going to have like, you know, when they do the weigh in and they're like, you know, they smack talk oh, each other. They're going to, yeah. <laughs> What's the shark going to say? <laughs> Man, no one smack talks like Tyson. <laughs> well, have, you, haven't heard, have, you haven't heard the shark yet, Dan. He's a fucking monster. Matt, have we talked on this well, podcast? You can't bite his ear off. Have we talked on this podcast before about <laughs> the stuff Tyson yeah. said to that journalist? Yeah, yeah, we did actually. I, I put the clip hell. in. And then I had to, yeah. to put a warning beforehand, but yeah, he said some some nasty shit. It's magnificent. It's magnificent. <laughs> uh, I'll fuck you till uh, you love me. Yeah, I'll fuck you till you love me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, so what's the shark going to say? Who knows? Mm. 
I hear the shark is a is is pretty racist though. So yeah, well, it is a great white shark. He's a white supremacist <laughs> shark. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, okay, I mean, look, I, I'm fascinated by this. I didn't I, mm. when I first saw the headline, I was like, I don't care. Now I. I think I oh, am actually care. interested to find out what the well, fuck Matt, this is. You're going to get to watch it because you get you get Shark yeah, Week. I do. I have, and I think with my Hulu Disney Plus thing, I get ESPN. So, Luke, oh no, this is, on, is this on the Discovery Channel? I'll do anything to be able to watch. What this. is the Discovery Channel these days? Come on. What is the History Channel? Honestly, the History, History Channel, Channel is about aliens and Hitler. Yes, exactly, and alien mm. Hitlers. What? Yeah, it's yeah. just aliens and Hitler. It's. History Channel's got all the weirdest okay. shit. Back yeah, to like, back. Uh, did aliens Bigfoot, build the pyramids? Hitler. Aliens. Hitler built Hitler. the pyramids. Did yeah. aliens build Hitler? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tonight yeah. on Discovery. Well, I can't we go and watch this live you. because, you know, we're not allowed to do sporting events, but uh, mm-hmm. there's, a, there's a baseball team that's come up with a solution. I think this is a baseball team. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can't go- See the Tampa Bay Rays if you wanted to, but you can pay to have a cardboard cut out of yourself watch the game. Just want to say they stole this from Australia. Did they? The NRL before because we we were the first team sport to be back playing yeah. rugby league before they were allowed fans back. They had cutouts. Did you have to pay? All so you would pay, send in a photo, and you could be at the game. People That's pay for cool. this shit. Yes. No, it's not. It's ridiculous. No, I'm into it. It was not, not. They weren't paying this much. It's because you're not a baseball fan, Matt. Imagine they said to you, "Send in your picture, and Christopher Nolan will put you in a crowd scene in his next movie." That's not the same thing. It is this exactly is just, the same thing. Yeah, it just, is. It's just a cardboard cut out of you sitting in the crowd with it, that because you can't actually be that's in the what, crowd. That's what it's, Nolan's it's actually, doing. He's like, I'm just going to put a. Cr- Cardboard cut out of you, Matt. Fifty bucks. But that's a, being in a movie is not the same as going to watch a baseball game. Like it's don't... actually a way to support them as well. Hmm. That's okay, that remember, is a factor, for, I suppose. Yeah. For these, for the, for the players, they basically have to go into lockdown. Yeah. Right. So they're now isolated from even their families, so they can do this, so they hmm. can keep playing to. So you think have they not people. told the players that they're cut out, cardboard cutouts, and so they're going to yeah. come out and they're going to be like, "Everybody's here." Actually, it's only one player per team. The rest of the team is cutouts as well. <laughs> <laughs> but, but no one gets told pretty that they're not the cutout. So you like the guys on there going, "Fuck, am I the cutout? I don't know." <laughs> In Australia, we're only paying twenty or thirty dollars, I think, mm, and that's Aussie dollars just- too. Fifty US mm. to be at a baseball game, mind you. Matt, did you get into any American sports since you've since you've been over there? Not really, no. I've been to a baseball game. Because uh, I tossed, yeah. like, we, we had, a, like, a two-week period where Hui and I seriously considered, like, whether or not we'd move to LA. And mm. um, we decided we would never move to that shithole. But uh, <laughs> I wouldn't either. <laughs> but, but I was like, if we move there, I'm going to pick one sport and just, like, sure. get massively obsessed with it. And probably you know what, baseball. You know my sport I would go for? Hockey. It'd actually be hockey. Yeah. yeah. Hockey's interesting. Because that's... Yeah, hockey's fast paced and stuff mm-hmm. happens, whereas a yeah. lot of the other sports, there's a lot of stoppages. Yeah, and they yeah. stretch like the the football goes for uh, for three hours for yeah. a sixty minute game. I've got hockey's fun. I've been to a couple of hockey games here. Uh, it's fun to watch. I like that they have a little jail that they put people in. That's mm-hmm. always funny. And then but I, I it's also, like wink, wink. We encourage you to hit each other, but also I mean, the, the jail. The fighting is actually part of the game in a way, and yep. the, the it's it's very and then apparently there's like rules about it all, with mm-hmm. like that. I mean, I'm, I'm not privy to. Maybe I don't even know if fans ever know about it. But there's like a hierarchy of like players, and it's like the way that the fights break out is all very like what, like the WWE. Kind of. No, you'll ha- you 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 sort of have your, your your players that are like really good, your your strikers type of things. Then you've got your enforcers. So if someone hits like your your good player, your enforcer comes out and yeah. will so there's now like fight. this whole thing going on behind the scenes. Of, You're definitely like, selling me on this sport, playing guys. Hockey. I would, I would watch this for sure. This sounds excellent. Yeah, oh, but the, yeah, that, would be, we'll but that would be that would be the sport I would pick. Do that. Does Rhode Island have a hockey team, Matt? 
Because we could just decide we got the, that. Yeah, Providence them. Bruins. Yeah, so the the the, the Bruins are uh, like I guess the team. The, they're, they're Boston, but we have they're called P Bruins or the Providence Bruins. So yeah, okay. there's a team here in Providence. Okay, okay. So we can go see them. Let's just fucking decide now that we're just fucking mad Bruins fans. Mm-hmm. Oh, Luke already was. You bought mm-hmm. a jersey when you were here. Did I you? sure did. Huh. Yeah. I packed a little jacket for you in my in my box. Yes. I can't Badly. wait to wear that jacket. <laughs> that, sa- that sounds like an innuendo, but it's not. I literally put a jacket <laughs> for Luke in a box. <laughs> Wink. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. That's all for this week. Thank you for listening and we hope you enjoyed the show. If you enjoyed it, then please subscribe and iTunes to receive episodes automatically. We'll see you next time.